Welcome to Foxtech. If your iPhone isn't downloading emails from the server, there are a few reasons why this might be happening. Let's go through the possible fixes so you can get your emails working again. First, check your internet connection. If your Wi-Fi or cellular network is weak, your iPhone won't be able to reach the email servers. Try opening a web page in Safari to make sure your internet is actually working. If it's slow or not loading, switch networks or restart your router to see if that helps. Next, open the Mail app, go to Accounts, and make sure your email account is properly signed in. If there's an issue with your login details or if your account was accidentally removed, your emails won't load. If needed, um, sign in again to reconnect to the server. Now let's check your fetch new data settings. In settings, tap accounts, then fetch new data. At the top, you'll see the push toggle. Turning this on allows your, your iPhone to fetch emails automatically as soon as they arrive. Below this, you'll find the fetch section where you can choose between automatic manual or a time interval for fetching new emails. If emails aren't coming in, make sure this is set to automatic or a frequent interval instead of manual, which requires you to refresh the mail app manually. If none of that works, try restarting your iPhone. This refreshes background processes and can resolve small glitches that might be interfering with email retrieval. After restarting, open the mail app again and check if your emails start downloading. It's also worth checking if your email provider's server is down. Try logging into your email on another device or checking your provider's website for any service outages. If the issue is on their end, you'll have to wait until they fix it. If you're still having trouble, removing and re-adding your email account might help. Go to settings, then mail, tap on your account, and remove it. After that, add the account again to force a fresh connection with the server. This can often fix issues related to outdated login credentials or syncing problems. That's it. Hopefully one of these solutions helped fix the issue. If it did, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Foxtech for more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching and see you later.